Hey y'all and welcome to a brand new video. So this week I am painting on keychains. Now these are just wooden keychains that I got off of Amazon. You can get them basically anywhere if I'm being honest. They're super cheap but I thought they would be fun to paint on so we're gonna do that. My first task at hand was opening up the bag that the keychains came in and picking out which ones I would paint for today. This bag contains 50 wooden keychains with all the chain parts as well as some twine. Since I don't have pliers with me at my Nashville apartment, the metal bits won't be used in today's video. Now it's time to gesso. I have had this Liquitex bottle of gesso for like a year now and I still haven't gone through it all yet. I chose to do four keychains, so they each got gessoed before I started painting the first one. For this keychain, I was going for a sky blue background to make the subject pop. The subject in this case being a rainbow with two clouds for feet. Yes, I know. Very original. I don't normally draw or paint rainbows, so this was something different and was actually a bit of a challenge. When doing the clouds, I didn't like where I placed one of them, so I smeared it, painted over it, and tried again. This time, I liked it. I kept having issues with the blue background bleeding onto the nib of the white paint marker whenever I tried to paint the clouds, so I ended up using a detail brush and the gesso to get the clouds solid enough to actually use the white marker to make it a cohesive piece in the end. I did three coats of paint for the rainbow itself, following rainbow order for the most part. I will mention I did not use indigo as it would have blended in with the background and I didn't want that. Now, the second one. For this one, I had an idea to do what I normally do. Flowers! I painted the background this really pretty burgundy color. Once that was dry, it was time to paint the petals. I had envisioned a light pastel pink on top of a dark burgundy, so that's exactly what I did. I didn't like the original size I drew the petals as, so I made them larger on the second and third coats. Then I tried to use my microns for the outline, but I hated how it looked, so I switched to the black Posca I had. As I only have one size for the black Posca, the line came out chunkier than I had originally wanted. Finally, it was time to do the center. I chose to use two different shades of yellow and just placed a bunch of little dots until they started to sort of blend together. On to the third one. For this one, I had a very simple idea a silver moon. I painted the background and edges this really pretty dark blue that I had never used before but fell in love with as soon as I saw it. Then I just took out my silver Posca and drew a moon. I will admit that what you're watching is not my first attempt. 
by the powers vested in video editing, you all do not have to witness the monstrosity my first attempt was. I had to cover it up with the blue and try again, which is what you see here. Came out much better. Then I added a few random silver stars and dots around the moon to finish it out. And finally, the last one. In my mind, I had envisioned a golden sun with little wavy triangles on the outside, kind of resembling the Supernatural logo, just without the devil strap, on a forest green background. This turned out worse than I had expected, but still not terrible. I think if I had used regular paint or a smaller paint pen, it would have come out looking much nicer. I also realized through using different colors that I had never touched before this, that not all markers were made equally. Some of these had super rough nibs and some had paint that did not want to, well, paint. It got really frustrating at a few points where I wanted a thinner line or if the nib was rough or if I got paint outside of where I wanted. I also discovered that the more I used these, the more I just wasn't a huge fan. They're great for some projects, but not for this type of project. You need something with a smaller nib or brush in order to get anything to look the way you want it to. Here are all of the final products. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time. Bye y'all.